Hey everybody, this is John and welcome to the free video. And as we dive into this, the main thing that I'm looking at here, obviously, even with all the uncertainty and volatility, the markets continue to trend higher. For the NASDAQ, I'm a little concerned because we are right up against this fire line. Uh, for those of you that don't know, the fire line is a major, major, major resistance level. Uh, it's very rare that a market comes up to a fire line and then just says, oh, hey, how's it going? And blows right past it. Usually there's either a lot of consolidation if the markets are bullish or a fairly decent pullback. As an example, we can see how Apple handled its um, fire line down here at 201. So when it came up to it, and again, this is more typical, is that you come up and you tread water around it, and then you some you know spend some time kind of chopping back and forth, you build up energy, and then you go. And it looks like when it came down to it as well. So uh, anyway, again, for the cues, just the idea that it's going to blow through it, eh, it's, a, it's a bit of a stretch. So we just want to be a little cautious there. Um, on the long side, I do like stocks like Amazon. Uh, Amazon here is kind of a nice rounded bottom here. you got a weekly squeeze that's fired. Um, I certainly would like to get a pullback here. We've been trading it in the room, and it hit uh, our targets today. But I'm more than willing to load back up at even the 8 EMA, which is 1875. So keep an eye on that. Tesla, of course, has been nuts. Uh, this is one of those stocks where you got to drill down to smaller time frames in order to participate in it because you're not going to get any squeezes on the daily chart at this point but if you you know go down to like say a five minute chart there's a great five minute squeeze here um right around 460 and you can see from there we got a nice move so when you see like a parabolic stock like that and if you're scared just to buy it or short it like you know i don't know why you'd want to short tesla at this point uh maybe later uh, but that's at least a signal. It's an actionable signal, and it can give you guidance as to whether you're on the right side of the trade or not. Okay, and so and some of the things here, and you know, as we go into kind of like what kind of trades to look at for the rest of the year, um, I really want to look at you know the idea here is that I mean Beyond's a good example here. Beyond Meat is really looking for unique situations where retail traders actually have a chance to kind of battle the algos because a lot of times what will happen I mean let me show you Shopify today this is a good example so this is one where this is a very very classic kind of a trade where a stock gaps up you know people that were in it maybe they get excited maybe they take profits maybe they don't but people jump in and the typical pattern you know, back in the good old days, as it comes down, it turns back up, and then it makes new highs. And they do this on purpose to suck people in. And then, okay, and here's the gap. This is where most people have their stops. And they're like, oh, let's just walk it down, stop everybody out. You can see that volume spike, and then we'll rip it back higher. And that's actually a pretty common kind of a theme. And so what we want to do is kind of get around that. So an example of something like that, I guess kind of a, a Wall Street hack, is uh, you know, on something like this, what we're looking at is on Beyond Meat. You can see here it was at $80 today. It was already kind of up quite a bit. This is uh, people that are trapped on the short side. We come down, we round back up, we get our green bars again, but then we get that volume dot. And that dot there is telling us that it's ready to go. And so we got this today at, you know, 2.15 in the trading room today. Um, I would picked up a, a little over 100 contracts, sold half of the close, um, but it went up to like almost 85. And so that was just a solid, solid, some solid action there for everybody in the room. We were buying these things at 7. We flipped them out at 10 into the close. It looks like it's down a little bit after hours, so we'll see what it can do tomorrow for the rest of it. But that's the kind of stuff there that I'm talking about. All right, so anyway, I'll be talking um, about more stuff like that. I've got a webinar I'm doing tomorrow. It's January 8th, 7 o'clock Central. It's a free webinar. And I'm going to talk about kind of a few things like that, what I call this glitch in the algos. Um, basically how they deliberately rob people blind. Um, some of the ways that these things are built to absolutely do that. And then how to utilize that in your own trading setups, in your own knowledge, to take trades like that. And so we'll talk about, you know, again, doing trades like in stuff like Amazon, but also for smaller accounts too. And a big secret to this is just waiting until the right thing comes along and then you pounce. All right, so we'll talk about that. Um, if you go to simplertrading.com forward slash hack, you'll be able to sign up for it. Again, it's a free webinar. 
and uh, looking forward to seeing you tomorrow night.